Okay, so the next little project I decided to work on, um, the idea came from this book, uh, So Charming, by Kath Dirksema and Kirsten Juner, and it shows you how to do, like, some screen printing and stuff like that, and so there's one of the projects in here where, um, they use kind of this design to screen print, so it's like a combo screen print stencil. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use this fabric. I bought it the, all the had left on the on the bolt at the fabric store. So this is just a gray um, jersey uh, knit material. I think it's got like lycra and rayon in it. So I'm going to have to see how this will work. So the first step is to build a screen printing frame. And um, what I did was I just bought some uh, sheer material, like curtain shears. It's the same kind of fabric I used for the Christmas printing that I did. And I bought um, another set of those little uh, painters uh, canvas stretcher stretchers and stapled the fabric really, really tight so that this is going to be what I work this is going to be the view that I work from. So this is the top and this is the bottom of the frame. So just stretch it really tight and so what you do is you lay it down, lay the fabric down, cut it a couple inches bigger than the frame, then staple on one side and then staple on the opposite side. Then here and then here and then you just keep working in opposites all the way around. And you want your fabric stretched really tight um, almost to where you think you're going to tear it, but uh, don't. <laughs> so then what I'm going to do is just to um, clean up the edges of the frame. I'm going to put some of this blue painter's tape all the way around, and then also down to here and kind of create a uh, border for the printing so that the ink doesn't get up underneath. There's a little lip on this frame so that the ink doesn't get up underneath there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back. What I've done is I have um, lined my edge, my raw edge of the screen, that's the, the wooden frame, up with um, a line on my grid, and then I'm lining my blue tape up with a one inch mark above that so that I have a one inch barrier all the way around. And that allows me to have an area printing area of about 7 inches by 9 inches. So now that my screen is done, um, it's ready, um, I'm going to draw my design. So I came up with a design. It's a, um, a dandelion fluff and I kind of am going to have this at different angles. So I'm going to draw this uh, on a piece of paper that I'm going to cut out for my stencil and I'll be back with that. So um, I did my drawing and um, obviously it doesn't have to be perfect and I do want it to look like it's handmade so um, what I did was I kind of held this piece of paper up on the screen and uh, held it up to the light centered the piece of paper, held it up to the light, and traced the outline of the blue tape so that I didn't do my drawing outside of that line. And then um, just did my rough design. And then I'm going to cut it out with a um, X-Acto knife um, so that I have just one cutout piece. So this is all going to be one piece cutout. So I'm going to show you that next and then after that we should be ready to print. So here's one of the little dandelion puffs cutout and um, so the part that you see here with the blue cutting mat behind it's the part that's going to be um, printed in white on the fabric. Um, in the book they also talk about you can take, so this would be a positive print, you could take this and lay this on the screen or under the screen actually and screen over it and then you would have a negative print. So um, if you cut these out smoothly enough you can do both printing types. Um, just depends on what kind of look you're going for. Obviously the negative print would be all color here 
with this pe being the unprinted part. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting out these other two and I'll be back. Okay, so here is my final cutout design. So what I did after I got all the pieces cut out was um, I went back and very, very carefully erased any leftover pencil marks so that it wouldn't, uh, I don't know if it would get mixed in with the ink or not, so I just erased them anyway, but be very careful so that you don't bend or tear any of these. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is take and um, attach this to the back side of my print of my screen and I'm going to do a test print on this black construction paper. Um, so what you're going to want to do is take your screen and the side that you taped on is going to be the side where your ink is going to go. So your stencil is going to go underneath here on the back side. So I'm going to um, essentially tape it to the screen like this. And once the ink gets on there, the ink is going to adhere to the um, paper and make it stick better. So I just need a, a little piece of tape at the corners to, when I lift this up the first time, it doesn't fly away, and that I've got it centered in my screen the way I want it to. Okay, so my first test print didn't work, so um, with the squeegee it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing the same similar method to what I did at Christmas, which was just use the uh, paintbrush and the ink in a little pan. And we'll see what this does. So I know that this worked when I did the screen that I printed off with Mod Podge. And we'll see if that works with the stencil. So I'm just pushing the paint in with the paintbrush. So basically what I was doing was just sort of putting the paint real light on the screen. And then once I got it smoothed out, I kind of scrubbed it into the into the paper underneath it. So we'll see what this does. Okay. I think I'm going to go with that. It works out. It doesn't seep under too much and where it does it's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and start printing my fabric. So after I played with the fabric a little bit, I decided that the best way to uh, make this scarf would be to um, go ahead and cut a wide piece and then like sew it in half. So I'm going to print across the whole bottom part there with the daisy or the uh, dandelion things. And so I'm going to leave like an inch kind of area where I don't print anything because that's going to be sewn in. And again, it didn't have to be perfect. So, got my screen down. And get a little bit more ink in my pan. And go ahead and start printing. And for this, I'm using a, a really stiff brush so that when I start smushing, the bristles don't um, just kind of collapse. so that I can kind of swirl it too. Okay, so here is the first um, section I printed. And so to do the next section, I'm just going to check the back, make sure I didn't have any seep through, and then I'm going to carefully, because this is still wet, slide this off of my um, mat here so that it's on the uh, table here and it's hanging lower than where my, my uh, frame's going to get so that it won't uh, transfer the print 
to the back of the paper stencil and then to the next section over I do. So I'm just going to line up my fabric and lay down my stencil again kind of close to the edge and I'm going to do my next section and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So here's the print so far. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and you can see over here my screen's starting to get kind of gummed up with the ink. So what I'm going to do is clean my screen a little bit, let this dry, and then I think I'm going to do another layer of the print right up here. So I'll have like two rows of the print and then I'll let that dry and turn the scarf around and do the other side. And uh, then I'll set the ink and sew it together. And I'll show you how I clean the screen.